tasting Manitoulin in winter. It's March. The snow on city streets in hard gray ruts and mounds of slush seeps into the weathered cracks of end of season boots. Past time to dream of Manitoulin rocks and trails, make up spring packing lists, remember how every year, packed to the roof, our car, swiftly disgorged from the ferry's mouth, rumbles across the dock rack into the touch of an early June sun, or drizzly rain, or creeping fog. Two travel-weary people roll down the window to breathe in the first taste of Manitoulin, sun-sharp or fish-laden, filling mouths and lungs. Forty minutes to Mindamoya Market. Will there be early lettuce and spring onions left as late as 11 in the morning? Tucked among winter pickles, mustards, new-baked bread and sticky buns. Smiles of welcome, half-gloved hands to shake, Maya's salad for a later lunch. How was your winter? Long. Gone now, as we lick our fingers. Coffee warm in our bellies, we roll down the dirt rope round the bend to the cottage on the hill. Swing open doors and windows, sniff last year's fire, still swirling dust motes and vinegar cleaner from an early cottage opening. Look around for changes before heading downhill to the dock. Inhale tufts of new grass and a winter's worth of lichen mounds in a few loose boards. The sharp whiff of wind over cold lake water. Red hands tingle with the first seductive touch. Fingers wiggle, undulant ripples pull images of winter-starved bodies swimming near the shore. Those bags can wait. We must see to the herd patch. The chives and mint are taking over, savory sage and parsley are up, the rosemary and tarragon survive. Can that be seeded nasturtium and ladies' mantle? Salad brunette quivers beside the sorrel. The luggage doesn't look too well, I'll soon be moved to thrive. Gathering salad herbs to add to buttered bread, we drag the deck chairs from the shed, stretch our faces to the sun, or wrapped in blankets to a rain speck window pane. Unpacking is delayed again until the showers pass, maybe longer. Why resist a nap? Images of asparagus with lemon butter of strawberries that are almost heaven, and Ted's latest experiment that worked. Of new flavors from Chuck's garden with Mary's buns and pies, six kinds of Norma's cookies and honeycomb and little wooden crates. Abundance lies ahead. Blue Jay Creek will weigh my lettuce and invite me to an art show. Loon Song Garden will have kale and luscious weaving. J.D.'s greenhouse will help me fill the garden gaps and brighten up the steps in front and back with red geraniums. The list is long. I could go on. But now it's time to say hello to landlords Laura and Miguel, to the neighbors up the road and camping by the lake, so another summer can begin.